Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. And we're going to go westbound. Yeah. Come back this way. we got a pursuit going on with uh, units. Vehicle guiding behind. I don't know what kind of crime they have. It's occupied by two people. And we got cars up here. Try to get sticks out in front of them. They drive all over the place, back and forth, all, all over the city, back and forth. Traffic light. traffic light, 150. They'll be coming this way here in a minute. Yep. Sticks of five six, sticks of five six. Come back, come back. Trying to stick them back there. He uh, saw us sitting there. We got units, Tacoma, Pierce County, Lakewood, University Place, Fircrest, all trying to get this guy stopped. He's uh, out of control. This is extremely dangerous for us and as well as the other people involved. What are you with him again? Keeps going across the back and forth, all the way across Tacoma, back and forth. You know, Pierce County. This stuff becomes real dangerous. Citizens just driving around their own business, and this cup's right, right in their path. We need to get this stopped. And we're going to go westbound. Come back this way. Come on, tell me where you're at. It's going to be coming to our left. Go! Get out of the way! Yeah. Get out of the way! Got it! Got him! He hit the sticks. He had sticks back there, so he should be starting to slow down a little bit. Tire should be getting flooded. Oh, looks like he's going to be bailing. You have the right to remain silent. Anything say can will be using against the court of law. Right to send a soul to attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one may appoint a representative no cost. Stop questioning your time for purpose. Soul to attorney. You understand your rights? Yes, I do. Have any rights of mine you want to talk to us tonight? Certainly. What's going on? 
Okay, we were up there in Spanaway. Yeah. Um, he had some dope he's going to turn me on to. Okay. He said that it was in his trunk. Uh, the next thing I know, a police officer is right behind me, or behind the two of us. Sure. I'm uh, in the car at this point in time, uh, and he takes off like a bat out of hell, and I can't get out of the car until just now, officer. Oh, really? So what was he saying when he was driving to all over town? What was he saying? What was he saying? He yeah. was saying, which turns to make? I said, dude, I'm lost. Stop the car the whole time. You tell him to stop? What was he saying? Was he just kept saying which turns to make? Were you saying anything else or no, what? No, I was not. Okay. I was saying, let me out. What kind of dope was inside the car? Uh, I believe meth. Methamphetamine? Yeah, that's what he said he had. How much meth is in the car? I had no idea. He was just going to turn me on to some. And then the next thing I know, the security guard was behind us, um, and he takes off like a bat out of hell, and this is the first chance I had to get out. I've been okay. Well, that was a police the whole time that was behind you, so. Yes, I know that was. You know that was a police? And yeah, you're yelling I, I for him to stop? Did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. All righty. You got a car we can stick him into here? All right. Why were you running? Why were you running from me? I don't want to see. You don't want to talk? I'm at All right. Well, we got the ambulance coming. Just lay there for a minute. I got the passenger over here, and he uh, told me he's the whole time he, uh, when he saw you. Uh, driver jumps in the car and off they go. He's screaming right. at him the whole time. He stop, stop, stop. Right. What he's telling me is basically he has dope inside the trunk of his car, and, he, and he's trying to sell him dope. Hook him up with some dope. So that's what methamphetamine. So that's part of part of what was going on. So um, that's what Patrick's saying. You, man. you invoked your rights. So so that's what he's telling me. He's uh, yeah, being cooperative. When I first came up on him, you know the guy looked at me and he jumps in the car and took off. He got a felony warrant. And he's got uh, felony looting. Okay. We're going to impound the car back to the precinct to get a search warrant. Okay. Find out what he was putting in the back when I approached him initially. And it smells like toluene, which is a sure sign of possibility of methamphetamine in the back. Methamphetamine land, probably right. rolling meth Could lab. Could be a rolling meth lab well, right it fits here. the profile. I mean, you know, the paranoia and him running and everything. It's a good reason to run. He's uh, So as we're chasing you, what's your partner saying? Uh, he's saying... Not much. He ain't saying a damn thing. I'm saying, dude, I'm telling him because I know the area. I said, there's windy turns. and uh, I said, if you don't slow down, you're going to kill us. Uh, <laughs> what about you know. getting out of the car? Did you want to get out of the car? Or you want? To yeah, out? yeah. He, and I just wanted you to know, he did about three times. He said, if you want out, jump. And uh, he, he slowed you down. <laughs> I thought, F you. All right. You're free to leave. You be safe. Stay, Stay out of trouble. For me. Oh, yeah. These guys are um, doing this stuff, this methamphetamine, these drugs, and, and they put their lives and our lives and the citizens' lives at risk just for, you know, a 20 bag of dope. And uh, it's crazy. The other night we had a, a Suburban that was stolen. It had some front end damage to it, and this one kind of looks a little bit similar to it. We're going to stop it right up here and see if it might be it or not. Adam 33 traffic. Adam 33. Uh, it looks like we're going to probably stop right over here. And at uh, Markham, Little Rock. Yeah, more Markham, 145. Adam, 33, it's 912. Give me another unit. Adam, 21, start that way. Everybody in the car, hands on the roof right now. Everybody in the car, hands on the roof. Stay in there. Everybody just stay put. Everybody get your hands on the roof. And 496, I'm on the highway. 146. Who's the one who was sitting in the front seat? Where'd he go? Where's the driver at? Tell him to sit up. Who was driving it? Because ain't nobody bailed out the car. Get your hands on the roof! Come on, Tisha, get out. Right there on the car. Stay put. Stay put. Don't get out. Lay down on the ground. Come on. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. Your turn, red hat. Come on. Get on the ground. You don't understand. Randy, I don't know about the dude in the passenger seat. He's either passed out or something. Passenger, come on. Wake up. Get out. You know me. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. <laughs> Get your hands out in front of you. I seven CA MS in the miles three eight six oh seven ten three six one. I want ten sixty three. That's ten point. 
Start patting them down. That was you driving it, wasn't it? No. Uh -huh. Who was driving it? Where's dude at that was driving? Because listen to me. I know nobody bailed out that car. All right? Who's sitting on that side in the back? Uh, this one right here with the red shoes. Bingo. Oh, yeah. And it's stolen, too. Yeah, there it is. Nice big old bag full of some crack cocaine on top of having a stolen car. Have we went through it real good yet, Sarge? No. no okay. No, I was just kind of making just, just a, a peek? Yeah, just a peek. That's all okay. Right so on just a peek, we got this. Who's is this? Uh, you know, I don't know about that. Huh? I don't know nothing about that. You know it. I don't. It ain't mine. It's in the car you're riding. I don't know. I who, mean, who was whatever driving? they. Who was driving? When they came and got me, man, I was. Listen to me. Who was driving the car? Was he driving? Was John driving? Mm -hmm. Bobby driving? Mm -hmm. All right then. I don't know that. I ran who, into John. Who was driving that car? Uh, who was driving this thing? Dude, 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 yeah, I got my... Miranda, Bobby yeah. was. That's what I thought. Yeah, man. I had to try to get a ride over this girl house, man. Okay. Little rock. Let me try this. Like I'm put it right here in your front pocket. I appreciate it. Oh. Damn, why ain't Chuck Stone no? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, hey, listen to me. That was underneath the seat where you're sitting. Oh, no, no, that ain't mine. You used so, to push it harder than anything no, anybody else, man. No, no, I didn't, man. I ain't, I ain't never sold no dope in my life, man. I ain't never had a drug charge in my life, man. You can check my records, John, man. Come on. Man, I ain't never sold no dope in my life, All right. man. All right. I ain't never had a drug charge All in right, my then. life, man. Curtis, what's going on tonight, man? You just passed out in the seat for the ride? Yeah, yeah I've been asleep. All right. You don't know who that is? Hell no. Where you find it at? It was under the back passenger seat where uh, John was sitting at. Might be there then. Ain't none of mine. Ain't none of yours, huh? Well, you know what happens whenever nobody claims it? I know what happens. Everybody gets it. But you know who I'm going to stick it with? I'm going to stick it with John because it's sitting right underneath where he's sitting at. Somebody, All right. Bobby. Bobby. How'd you come to have that thing? Huh? How'd you come to be driving that thing? L listen to me. Listen to me, man. I done talked to two folks. Bobby, look at me. Bobby. Bobby. What? Look at me. I've already talked to two people sitting in there that done told me you was driving it. Huh? Listen to me. You yeah. driving that car. No. Okay. Then who, who was driving it? If you wasn't driving it, who was driving it, Bobby? I Dude is passed out in the, in the passenger seat next to you? I wasn't driving it. You wasn't driving it? No. Then who was driving it? Casper the ghost? Yeah. Casper was driving it, huh? I ain't All know right, then. I ain't know. No. By the way, you're under arrest for theft by receiving times two. The tag on the back of that is reported stolen on a, is actually on a, supposed to be on another stolen vehicle out of, Little, out of uh, Lone Oak County. And... That suburban stolen out of North Little Rock. So you got theft by receiving yeah, times two. I'm not driving this car. Sir. Yeah, you were. No, yeah, I you wasn't. Were. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you man. were. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Okay, well, you can tell it to the judge. And if you can listen to me, if you can bring Casper the Ghost to court with you, then he can testify that you weren't driving it. Me and Steve are both instructors in the police academy, which I find pretty good. Every day out here working, you kind of do the same thing over and over again, and eventually you start to get lackadaisical. And teaching a police academy helps keep us fresh, keeps us with officer safety in mind. We teach, you know, when we're teaching the academy students, we're telling them the different things that we should practice each and every day. And it kind of keeps them fresh in our mind um, for the things we don't do all the time, the things we don't encounter every day, something you might only come in contact with once every five or six months. All right, we just, we're, we're getting dispatched to uh, one of our area hotels. 
where they were having trouble with a resident of the hotel. He's backed his pickup truck over a uh, block wall and he's having a disagreement with the manager and now he's outside and a lot causing problems. It looks like the lady at the front desk wants to talk to us and then also the complainant, the person who struck the picnic table, called back also. Hello. How's it going? All right, what's going on? His uncle, for two days now, has cussed me up and down like a dog. Owner knows this. They were due tomorrow, due to Saturday. I put on there, not to renew their home. I'll come from the Pepsi tomorrow. machine. They come squealing, speeding through the parking lot. I set my can down. I hit no, brakes, and I hear a squeal again. I look out there. He backed up over the little concrete slab into the brick wall down here at the picnic area. I locked up, went out there. All I asked him to do was put the brick back. By golly, if he didn't cuss me up and down again, I want him off this property. What room's he in? 121. All right. What's his name? What else? What's going on tonight, man? I have no idea. I have no idea why you're here. You called us saying that the telephone was stolen. Y'all. And the front desk also called about having problems with you. I didn't ever call y'all. All right. Well, what happened to where the front desk would call us? Yeah. Because they're f-ed off. About what? That I'm f-ed off. They're upset that you're upset. Yeah. Okay. The phone's been disconnected. Where's your over car at? 70 cents. My truck is right there. Over 70 cents? 70 cents. Well, can't we, get that, can't we get that taken care of then? Yeah, I thought we could. Hmm. What was the deal? Is it the deal he pulled in here and hit a couple things? That's what they're I, saying. That's a lie. You go check anything on my. Well, I think he's going to check he's it right now. Check. No, it ain't going to happen. Do you have a valid license or are you under suspension? Under suspension? I'm a, I am. But you I didn't are? drive in here. Who did? My Chad. Where's Chad from? He's the one who owns the truck. You got any... Are you causing a disturbance around here or what? No, sir, never. It's not what they said up front, man. It's That's a lie. There and wreak some havoc because... Uh... Let's walk over and look at the truck. Let's make sure there's no damage. Wow. Did you hit something? No, he didn't hit nothing. He knows he... If he bumped into something, that's fine. You know, he, he didn't mean to. Where's, where's Chad at? Chad! Where's Chad staying? Chad. He's my nephew. He lives with me. He lives with you? Yeah. Where'd he go? I don't know. Probably away from y'all. Oh. Yeah, that's fresh damage. So what are we going to do to fix this? You going to pick up the bricks and put them back? Well, certainly I would do that. All right. It's broke. Take me about two seconds. Have at it. Where's Chad at? Inside? Was that Chad, he said? Yeah, we, yeah it's we Chad. Right, yeah. Let's bring Chad out so we can get into this truck and find out what those pills are in the front seat. I think you got them upside down. I bet if you rotated that about 180 degrees. Yeah, I think I'm not going to do it, though. You're not? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yes, I will. I thought you were. Damn. Good answer. Flip it. Flip it over. That's the bottom. There you go. Put that there. I flip this one over. Nope. Nope. Flip it. I think. Now I'm like a 35, I can break away. I'm not even trying no more. <laughs> Throw me in jail. That's still not right. Put him, I want him right. Look, pick this brick up and set it over there. All right, I'm going to help you. I don't know how to do it. All right, now turn that one all the way around. There you go. Don't start getting smart. That one's got, it's gotta be flipped. It's got to be flipped. It's got to be flipped over. I wouldn't break it. Don't break it. There you go, man. Way to go. I can't believe you asked me to do that. Why? I am not an idiot. I just spoke with the manager, and she said that she doesn't have a problem with the nephew. He can stay, but she said this guy's been a troublemaker for two days. Yeah. So I mean, it's, it's time for you to go. Can you say it's true? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Just <laughs> shut up and go in the room. You go get... You won't call Kev. Just get... To go. All right, the cab's here. Ma'am, um, we have a guy over here. He's, he's been drinking. 
He's a little drunk, but not too drunk. The hotel here just wants to get him out of here. Okay. If we can take him down to the Fireside Motel, I'm okay. sure he won't give you any problems. Right. If he does, call right away through your dispatch, have him call us, and we'll come and get him. We'll just take him to jail. All right. You're good. You got to get into this All right, cab. dude, listen. Your cab's here. You got to get into the cab and go down to the other hotel. Hey. All right? Okay. Move on this side, man. You're, this, you're seemingly being the lead officer. Can I talk to you? Here's the deal. Hop in, Russell. Here's the deal, and I want to make myself very clear. Understand? Okay. Very clear. Okay. If you're going right down the street, if I see you any more tonight, if I get called to the hotel, if I get called for you walking down the street, if I get called for you dialing 911, if I see you again tonight, you are going to jail, period. Avenue. Understand? Yeah. Thank God this is over. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514-10 transmit on tech 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.